we have the audacity to turn our back on them right this second. I'm going to tell you something. All societies are judged by what they do for the least of them, of us. The least of us are the ones who protected this democracy. We owe this debt more than anything else. The president just promised five billion dollars for terrorists around the world at West Point, where he could have used the day to say, I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused you, the families, and I'm going to fix it today. Well, that's what happens when a proud vet starts venting as he sees other vets suffering. Is the president now listening? Hi, everyone. Glad to have you. I'm Bill Cavuto. And less than two days after Montel was giving him hell, President Obama was kicking his Veterans Affairs Secretary to the curb and hinting of kicking more cash the agency's way. There's been no area where I put more priority than making sure that uh, we're delivering uh, the kind of budget that's necessary to make sure our veterans are being served, but it may still not be enough. But is more money the answer, or is it a case of throwing good money after bad? To Ben Stein, Charles Payne, Dagan McDowell, along with Adam Lashinsky and Charlie Gasparino. Charles Payne, what do you think? I got to tell you, that press conference was disappointing. Um, he mentioned money three times at least, and you know, more or less it's a, a great elixir. If it's a great elixir, and if, if, if this isn't fixed in the future, it's not my fault. I couldn't get the money from Congress. Listen, a lot of money has been thrown at the problem, and the wait times have gotten exponentially longer. We've had this particular crisis. It's probably going to mushroom into something that people won't believe when it's all said and done. But that's the basis of President Obama's uh, ideology for every single thing. Let's build a gigantic government machine with a whole bunch of money, which, by the way, is part of the problem. Big government is part of the problem. Well, we obviously have to find what has prompted uh, you know, wait times for treatment that go from 24 days <clears throat> to north of 100 days, even with all that money that's been coming in, Dag, and that, I think we have to get to the bottom of that before we start throwing more money, don't we? Absolutely. Broadly speaking, a lack of accountability, bonuses for poor performance, which is rampant throughout the mm -hmm. VA system. And frankly, funding has gone up quite dramatically since 2005. The budget of the VA has gone up. It's, almost, it's more than $57 billion annually, up 76 percent. The number of veterans being treated up just 18 percent. Throwing more money after this problem won't fix this problem, which has been around for, frankly, decades. Charlie Gasparino. Uh, my brother did a tour through the VA hospital. He was a resident at NYU, so he did the tour on 23rd Street. If, you, if he was on this set right now, he would tell you this thing needs more than performance re reviews. It needs to be maybe dismantled. It, it is rife with fraud. Fraud in terms of billing, fraud from the top to the bottom, and this fraud that with, with, uh, with brave men and women not being able to see the doctor for two months. The, 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 the agency needs to be blown up. And here's my one problem with President Obama. There's no outrage here. I mean, we call him no drama, Obama. That's good in a lot of respects. When the you know financial crisis was hitting, you know he sounded really sane and rational, and that's why a lot of people voted for him. But this calls for outrage. What happened here, and he's not sufficiently outraged, and I don't think he has a clue on just how bad this thing is. All right, um, Ben Stein. There are a number of, of, of solutions that have been thrown out there. One is to make sure that soldiers never have to wait at all, and whether you give them a voucher to another hospital, get out of the VA system so they can get the care they need when they need it. What do you think? Well, I think that's a good suggestion. But I think part of the problem is that the veteran population is aging very, very rapidly. Right. And generally speaking, older people like me consume more medical care. So uh, Dagan is quite right. The amount spent per veteran has grown dramatically, but the likelihood of illness uh, per veteran has also grown dramatically. And I don't know what the government can do except throw more money at the problem. I mean, it, it is the government. It, you're not going to hold each person individually accountable as if it were Fox News. You're, it's the government. And the, basically, the only but, solution is to throw more money at it. Adam? No, no, no. But, th but this is a serious point. That this, first of all, this is ideological, Charles. You're right. Uh, we, as a government, we defend the country. We have a, we have a military to fight wars and defend us. And so we also have that uh, a similar government infrastructure to care for our veterans. That's absolutely the way we should do it. And yes, we do need more money. The doctors who work for the VA, on average, make less than doctors elsewhere in the healthcare system. We should address that right away. Raise their oh, salaries. Boy. By the way, pay them more. <laughs> because they are doing the most important work of, of physicians in our society, which is caring for the men and women 
who who hurt We're themselves not talking about candidly, the doctors, defending Adam, us. And, 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 yeah, this goes beyond. So this it's goes exactly what we're talking about. It's so about. funny that you would even use the military in this administration because they're trying to gut the military as an example of why we should be spending more money. Why? You know, it's it's we are spending money. We have to spend taxpayer money efficiently, and we have to set Wait, priorities. If you threw, this thing, well, this but, thing but let's is be wrecked, honest, Charles. Was wrecked. When the president Charles, told you he knew it was wrecked. He knew it was wrecked. But, but and Charles, you and Charlie. Just let me make a quick point. You and Charlie really don't want a Veterans Administration no, because you, you don't like you the have government no, being You have no this. idea what you're you talking about. So. Listen, if you threw more money at Enron, which was a fraud, do you think it would help it out? Do you You're think completely that? Changing. This There's is no. I want this to is an amazing. The, the, the VA hospital, for, I know this from people who work there, is rife with administrative fraud, with overbilling. So you want to close and, them? And, and no, I want I to, want fix to them. change it radically, and we and people and like Charles you want, doesn't people want like one. you and Ben want to just throw money at it. No, I'm happy to change it radically. Well, I want to start right right now. It's the government. Charlie, it's the signs. government. It's the government. Well, it's the government. Will the only way you should fix be the government. Throw more money. But at I don't it. When does that ever happen? That you threw more money at something in the government where they made, made it better. There, like, War, there was a G how about World War II? Okay. There was a GAO report last year that said 80 percent of the medical provi care providers in the VA got performance pay of some sort, but their performance was never measured. They're throwing money. They're basically paying for failure within the VA system. And I kind of resent what Adam is suggesting, that we don't want to take care right. of our veterans. We're just disappointed and disgusted with the way that they've been treated, not in recent of years, course. but for decades. And sorry if I don't believe in socialized medicine, when my great aunt was sterilized by the state of Virginia, unbeknownst to the whole family, and nobody knew as part hey. of the eugenics movement hey, over the years. So sorry if we don't trust the government to take care of the most needy in this nation. Well, then scrap it and scrap it and do something different. But the okay. VA Thank for you. decades is is socialized medicine. By the way, fighting wars is a socialized. But that's process a different well. argument. I mean, that's that's not, a different. We we've made a promise. It is. The we made same a promise argument. to give. We made a promise to give socialized medicine to our veterans. But we did not make a promise to give Correct. it to a corrupt organization. And Ben compares the VA to the U.S. No military that. during World War II. That is insane. You cannot throw money at a fraud. This place is broken from the top to the bottom. But Ben Talk also anybody touched, that touched on. Ben touched anybody on the, knows anything? But Ben, I think touched on the most important point of all here. It's sheer demographics we have a lot of soldiers right they're getting old right uh we have a lot coming off two, two wars over the last decade so we're flooding the system and we have a system that is unable to deal with it so a Maybe lot of talk you hear is fraudulent right. uh, uh, well there's a i'm not uh, doubting this fraud uh, there. Says, uh, but then then that gets us back to something that others have been banding about if you don't junk the va as we right. know it do you look at privatized alternatives or something well, look, that no. would at least cut the wait list down because that's the problem people right. are dying and getting sicker at the very least because they wait so long sure, but, for treatment. But there's sure. but Charlie, there's tremendous and Charlie and Neil, there's tremendous fraud in almost every medical endeavor. Well, there's, there's tremendous fraud, 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 there's fraud wait, in the procurement, it, and there's tremendous ben, fraud in procurement during fraud, World War II. There's, there's a lot of fraud no, no, in everything. Wait, there's there's fraud, a lot of fraud no, in everything. No, it's, no, Enron was fundamentally fraudulent. Okay. J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan Char is not Charlie, fundamentally is not fraudulent. Fundamentally fraudulent. Uh, how do you know that? Fra you know Charlie, one person all, there. With, with all due respect, for you know? many years I have toured the VA hospital in Westwood, right, so you giving went, out you my uh, humble celebratory. Oh, celebratory that celebratory. means you know something Sir, you about VA. Oh, do you work there? Do you work there? Do you work there? Do you work there? You can't work there. The fact that you know somebody who works there doesn't make you an expert on it. You can't say the entire that the entire VA is a is a Total fraud. If you Obviously, talk, there are some people that help them. If you talk to doctors, Neil, it's, it's broken. Is it fair to system? say it's broken? I think it's worse. Okay, than so what would the alternative be? And you hit on it with what you're suggesting. The, 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 and, and, I, and Adam also did too. The administration is 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 protecting the idea that ultimately uh, the government should be in charge of health care. If somehow they were to have a mea culpa and say, you know what, let's let's uh, offshore some of this to the private sector. Maybe that has implications for the health care law. Maybe that hits the very heart of their ideology. If, so you have to protect a broken system to protect the ideology. If you're going to put more problem. money into it or continue to operate it, clearly they have to go in there and change the financial incentives that are in place, the way that performance is rated throughout the entire VA system, and get rid of a lot of the executives who are currently still within the VA. Well, I will say this, regardless of how you feel about the VA and all of this, if, if this is the way the government run anything treats soldiers. How do you think as we move this way toward our 
our health care. Right. It's going to treat us. Yep. I don't know.